This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing, ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm the Z-Man, and this is Stories Untold, Part 2, and you're like, thinking to yourself, where's Part 1? That's been done a long time ago. And the reason I didn't continue this was I didn't have a monitor large enough to house the entire picture, and you're like, you could resize it, but guess what, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go down, and half the screen was gone, if you watch the part one you'll notice that there's a part of like the screen not that it was detrimental to the experiment or experience of the game but still but when I went to go play this part I could not reach some of the buttons so it became a big issue but anyways with that aside oh I can't click that I was trying to click the button um, all right so let's say experiment let's get into this let's let us get into the uh, experiments all right subject it's closed and saw a solid outer layer x-ray the artifact so let's x-ray the shit out of it all right r3 ir xr uh, camera monitor set to x-ray device charge CC okay all right all right try to remember how one actually does this Tab to roll over to the search chamber. Convenient. Good stuff. All right. So what we need is our television here. We need it set to. Uh, wasn't it R? Was, was it R three? Give it to me. There we go. Yep. Uh, well, monitor set to X-ray, which is RX. Okay. All right. So turn that on. Ha ha ha. RX, and then we need to flip that switch. Bing, green, and step it in the microwave. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. Glad it is. No, 
visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. All well, of the good. flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Good. Also, I didn't even check to see if uh, subtitles are on, yes. Uh, test is complete. Demonstrate the effect of a laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. So let's get that manual out. Let's get ourselves a laser. We need 650 for red. Requires the LZ, the LZR2 light generator set wavelength and monitor set to RGB. Just like my favorite lights. So 650. RGB and laser. So we can. No. Can I not? There we go. I didn't know what I was doing there for a moment. There it is. Hiya. And 60. Did I actually get the monitor set right? I guess so. It's beeping green. Hiya. Man, that don't sound pleasant. No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. Okay. Green laser. Green laser six. Uh, six. Ha. Huh. Uh, 510. Well, 510 and zap it in the microwave. Hiya. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Have you ever thought about maybe we should be messing in things that we don't really understand? Crap. Which one was blue laser? Okay, blue. Blue is uh four fifty five. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be like goofing with some of this stuff. I'm just saying, just saying. Oh, well, heart's beating. Would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. How about let's not? Okay, experiment. Test the acoustic response or romanance properties of the object. Uh, uh, begin with generating 250. Uh, hertz. I don't know why I had a uh, issue with trying to say that. Uh, send waves with amplifier gain set to one. Okay, so 250. I guess we can turn you off. We'll turn you on. Boy, you run out of top of the screen. Oh, gain to one. We, we, we need that. I guess your gain. Maybe. Because that's one.
fire set gang and prepare display one through five, yeah. Do I have something on that I shouldn't have on? Oh, whoops, wrong one. Yeah, that's sin right there. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Well, let's not. Let's not update no more. All right, 500, same frequency, and gain to five. Not done quite yet, sir. 500. We set this thing up to 5. Oh, it's doing a shaky shaky. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? Do the risk of damage. What about the uh, volunteer? Yeah, what about the volunteer that's locked in this room? And there's okay, a little light. Push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Okay. Yeah, that we've done this. Wait, is the frequency different? Switch to sound, yeah, square wave. I'm just an idiot. Square wave. Hiya! Pretty sure our heart ain't supposed to be doing that in the left side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. There's a light flickering in there, and I'm growing more and more concerned about that flickering light. All right, maintain the gain of five square wave form, and bring it up to 1k. Are you mad? Oh, well, here we go. Watch your ears. <clears throat> Snob takes a minute. I mean, frequency keeps getting on higher and higher. <laughs> Pretty sure dogs will start being able to hear this. Eight fifty. 900 950 1 1 K hold on to your butts oh popped it full activity registry we did it what do you mean we did it What do you mean? We popped it. Stay calm. Try to relax as we go through these next steps. What next steps? Attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. The protective casting is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Uh. Th uh. Switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When uh, ready, trigger the synth master as normal to begin. Okay, can we turn that off? I guess we're turning this on. TV's on. One exploded heart. 
Here we go. How do you feel? Scared. Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to open the test chamber. Just saying. Uh, oh, that's all oh, cool. That would have been nice to have earlier. Safety instructions. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Proper PPE, guys. Do not leave the container unattained during an experiment. It's extremely dangerous to handle items, any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per agreement, follow the instructions exactly. Uh, I don't think I should be touching this. Just, uh, just a saying. Yep, it's still staring at me, boss. Pretty sure I shouldn't be opening this. It's an orb! God, you're loud. Just a little bit. Time to remember. By going into a fit. Jesus Christ! Oh, yo! Just bleeding out of my eyes. Fucking Christ! You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. Well, good. I always wanted to be connected to a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. Look into it! New data connection ready. Uh, buddy, hi, hi. Yeah. I was ready for you this time. Christ. Memory retrace, temporary inference. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. I was in the middle of doing that, my good sir. You wake up in a crowd pod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact uh, into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. A uh, poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Back to the craft is broken beyond repair. There is a wreckage all around you. Their locked door is locked tight, uh, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. So, um, this is like, and the first one was purely text-based. You came in, the TV was there, and you played the game by text. Um, for those who don't know what text-based games are, it's just that. It's like a monitor, keyboard, um, and green text. Uh, because at the time, that's pretty much your only options uh, in the way of color back in the day. This is something we had way before. Like This was like Apple, um, Apple IIe and stuff like that, Commodore 64 stuff. Um, was it Commodore 64? Did the Commodore 64 have graphics? I can't remember. But anyways... Uh, back in the day, you just had text. You had no actual like representation of any characters on screen. You'd get a big old thick book and had pictures and stuff to help you get an ideal and books of uh, pages for drawing 
maps and stuff and you'd have to type out everything and sometimes it was really particular in how you had a word and sometimes not so much sometimes they were funny like you could go pick a rock up throw it at someone and the person would yell at you for throwing a rock at them um you know just stuff like that but anyways uh let's continue i digress look at at uh calm put her Terminal. Monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. All right. Get. Oh. Get out of bed. Really. Use. Yeah, that works. You tap the screen and the air lock door sput uh, sp sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserve. Crap is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around the airlock. Is, uh, airlock is tight, and the computer terminal is now shut down. There's no longer any power. Uh, this organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different and not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. The well, end. see what else is high. Let's let's hold on. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I got I got click on this thing. Ah. Jesus Christ! Why you gotta be so loud? Damn it! What are we even looking at? Okay, now for out of you. You squeeze through the damage airlock and feel your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. This is incredible. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Whatever you say, boss. Whatever you say. You squeeze through the damage airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle every breath brings pain to your chest you look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage my favorite thing to do look around crash site smoke bellows from the down ship exterior lights flickering on and off wreckage around you looking upwards you see an unfamiliar star pattern Um, get off. Run. Darn it. Help. Hmm. There is no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Lights are blinking. You can make out some silhouettes, but you will need to move uh, some of the surrounding records for a better view. Move wreckage. Really?
I guess I misspelled it the first time. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through the, the lights that surround you. Now attack your senses. Circle of artificial lights around you set up to illuminate the crash site and the darkness behind them. An army of people all staring. One figure steps out of silhouette and walks towards you. Silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face that beckons you to approach. Oh. Uh. to this. Yeah, sometimes you just get blocked. Or, well, locked into a circle, in a sense, just until you figure the right word sequence out. Look at silly man. Silly house man. Gives me a lot of confidence. Somehow I'm not, though. Oh, back to it. Need sunglasses for this. Oh, we got some classified documents. Got some wires and tubes and. Woo! We awake. The room is silent, only for a quiet hum of equipment and an occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move uh, together in unison. Well, first things first. We are in bed in a small and artificial lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned on the wall. Adjacent to the display monitor... We didn't put this empty in quarantine, it expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? It is into the display monitor with wires that drape across the room and onto your chest. They have tortured us. Oh, look at lights. Oh, look at hands. Look at uh, the writing, I guess, see if we can't see something. Stuck together on a series of flat sheets with symbols across them, some sort of writing. Okay. Look at monitor. Screen didn't give anything away. Flash and symbols and what? Could be numbers and rhythms. Uh, look at. Uh, do we have. Why do we have wires? A series of wires leave the machine and run across your chest attached in different places. We aren't sure if uh, the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Oof. Hmm. 
blacks. Get a little woods. Fluid is thick and dark. We can feel a transfer, but not which direction. Hmm. Judge. Oh, we can't torch. On a corner, atmospherically sealed shut. Oh, Cushion is horizontal surface uh, on each side, a metal or alloy barrier, presumably to stop you from falling out. Hmm. Uh, what happens if we pull at wires? What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. We'll find out what's going on. Well then. We yank at the wires, uh, protruding from our chest together. We all scream in pain. This action sets up alarm by going loudly down the adjacent corridor. We are in bed. It smells. Or in a small artificial room, there's some sort of writing pin on the wall adjacent to the monitor and with wires drip across the room, not dangling loosely. Don't keep those. Look at. Not sure. If but the wires, we, we've already done this. Than a red symbol flashing in the center, registering the wi wires been disconnected. Too late. Too late. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh, whoa, hey. 
There was a face in there, bro. There was a face up in there. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know uh, how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and lock clamp shut. We are alone together. In some sort of preparation room, there are markings on more sheets with the door and a window on one side of the door. We came through has been locked shut in the other door with an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room is a table holding only a small device taken from yours. It's my our ship. Um, let's see. Uh, glass almost mirrored on one wall next to the door in the next room a human is connected to a sphere by its eye we must come to or he must come to well then I think they're talking about me uh, let's see there are markings we can do a door and a window on one side the door that we came through has been shut um, the door is orange well, uh, let's look at light. Look at a alarm. Um, look at the device. It has an access code uh, terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Okay. Use code. Well, let's see. Can we Jesus Christ. They're all free. They're converging. They go orbs. Groot! What's up, buddies? Oh, we gotta stare into ya. Too late. Yeah, me stare into an orb. Maybe. No, oh, we gotta rebuild. A revolt. Some. Nice. 
Goodness. Ugh. Man, this volume turned down so low, and yet it was still so loud. Oh, so that has been chapter two. We now have the station process and the last section, which will be parts three and four. Uh, hopefully this hasn't been super long. Um, of course, obviously, I'll be snipping away at it, making it a little shorter. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you guys. Boop. In the next episode. Later, guys.